Hey you guys, welcome back to Mean Mug and Monday. Today my mug says weirdest. I got this actually as a set from Target and the other one said weirdo. And so I gave it to my best friend and so she has the weirdo one and I have the weirdest one because apparently there was no question in anyone else's mind who was the weirdest. So this week for Mean Mug and Monday, we're gonna be talking about meal prep. What does it mean about meal prepping? So how far out do we prep? You know, what exactly does that entail? Sometimes meal prep is preparing all of your meals, usually on a Sunday, and you put them in single serving Tupperware so that it's no questions, you just open the fridge, you grab one of the Tupperware, you heat it up and you go. I usually make things in bulk, like in a large batch, and so that way you can pull out however much you want and it cuts down on the number of containers I have to use. So that's kind of been the new way of meal prepping. Um, now when I was hardcore in the fitness industry, it was every single meal had to be specific because I was carb cycling and everything had to be measured out and um, sometimes there were special oils on things and stuff like that so I had to know exactly what order each of my meals was. Now I just batch cook and that goes into the fridge. But there are a lot of staples that I keep on hand. No matter what, I've got stuff ready to go and it's stuff like chili stuff, stuff for avocado toast. My kid really likes eating like brown rice beans, which is black beans and dark red kidney beans and salsa mixed together and then she'll eat it with corn chips. So that is one of her favorite go-to meals. We also obviously make a lot of smoothie bowls here. So we keep everything on hand for smoothie bowls, which, you know, of course is bananas and you just let them age. So as they're aging, you know, she'll eat them along the way. And then we'll also, once they start getting the little spots on them, you know, break them up and put them into a bag and freeze them and then they're ready for smoothie bowls. And then we also like Chinese food, so there are Asian chicken things by Gardein, and so we pick that up and frozen broccoli, and we put that together and that's dinner, it's pretty simple. The friend who has the other mug, she's actually really good about meal planning, and she will print out an entire calendar and put what meals they're having for the month on there so that she also knows kind of what to pick up from the grocery store beforehand for what meals are coming up. So it just kind of depends on what your personal preference is and just how far in advance you want to plan. Um, like I said, some people meal prep in individual containers every weekend. Some people, like I will just make batches of stuff and leave it in the fridge so that we can eat off of it for a while. I know that right now I have chili, I also have minstrone soup um, in there, and then I also have spaghetti. So there are things in there ready to go for whenever we get hungry and you can just pull it out and, and eat that. And this morning we had smoothie bowls. So that's kind of usually how our meals go um, because I'm definitely trying to get more fruits and vegetables into my kid. <laughs> I think all of us are. So smoothie bowls in the morning, make sure that a lot of good um, fruits get into her. And then the minstrone soup is basically all vegetables with some noodles. So that works out well. But let me know what it is that you guys do for meal planning. Let me know how it is that you prep. Do you batch cook? Do you individually put them into containers? Do you plan out the whole month? Do you only do one week in advance? And what are some staple meals that you keep on hand at all times? Let me know down in the comments. I wanna hear from you guys, and I will see y'all on Thursday. I hope you're having a great week. See you then.